the good thing that that uh, that social media does provide is an, uh, a different view. Um, I could tell you that you know I don't know uh, what your training background is with any kind of martial uh, mixed martial arts or anything, but um, the jujitsu thing is is starting to become a very popular thing. And um, and I roll at a at a gym called Monster here on Long Island, and you know one of my instructors is uh, you know a, a veteran. Um, he's been on twenty plus years. He's a black belt, and he is pushing that to the extreme. Man, is Good. teaching the teaching the kimuras, teaching the takedowns, teaching you know how to do weapons handling and stuff. And when we roll at four o'clock in the morning, he's implementing that. And we're not even at work, but the people that go are cops. You know, we'll pack out a room. I'm, I don't know if you follow me on social media, but if you watch uh, my my social media, we have thirty six guys going to a four thirty in the morning class before they go to work at seven, and they're all cops. You know, and they want they want to get better. And, and that's kind of what I, I try to you know implement. It's like, hey, stay in shape. Train. Do something that's going to keep you safe or, you know, keep your partner safe at that. And um, I think that's important. But again, I, I'm so new to the job. You know, I, I have going on seven years. I'm so new to the job, but I have a little bit of time. So I'm in a weird gap, you know, because, again, the way that I that I, what I see right now in my department for what I hear, it's very different. I talk to other guys who are cops throughout the country. And they are saying that they are, they're having some of these problems that you're bringing up, you know? And then I look at my department and I'm like, am I just not seeing it? Because like my guys are actually doing the stuff that I'm hearing about, you know? So it's like, what, what are we doing that we're not all on the same page?